Hey all, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will be working on logic apps using Dropbox and OneDrive connector. So the scenario is, we will be using Dropbox as a trigger, wherein when a file is created in a Dropbox, the same file with the same content will be copied or created in a OneDrive folder. So here the Dropbox will be the Dropbox connector will act as a trigger and the OneDrive connector will be act as an action. So let's see a demo. Let's go to Azure portal that is uh, portal.azure.com and as a prerequisite you should have a Microsoft Azure subscription and an account with Dropbox and OneDrive. So let's quickly create a logic app. Let's give it a name. Subscription is free trial. Create a resource group with the same name. Let the location be as default. Spin it to dashboard. Click on create. So this will create our logic app. It will take few seconds. So once it gets deployed, it will open up the logic app designer page wherein uh, we can design or have a workflow. So uh, there are uh, many te pre-built uh, templates uh, available uh, here, over here. As you can see, it is already there. Uh, like when a new file is created in Dropbox, copied it to OneDrive. But we'll, we'll start with a blank template. Let's start with a blank template for a clear understanding. So now the first thing is we need to create a trigger so that our workflow or our logic app flow gets started. So for that, we need to start with Dropbox as our flow. So here you can see there are triggers and actions for the Dropbox. As now we need to use this connector as a trigger and we will be using this that is when a file is created. So very first you need to uh, get sign in with your Dropbox account. So you need to provide your credentials and uh, it will ask for a permission so that uh, the logic apps and your Dropbox can communicate with each other. The APIs can uh, communicate. So uh, let's sign in. So as you can see, uh, once clicked on sign in, it will open and uh, it will ask for some permission so that it could ex uh, uh, logic apps could access the files and folder with your drop Dropbox. Click on o allow. So now here it is. Now uh, what we need to do is like we need to uh, give a folder name so that like into this folder if a file gets created then there would be some actions uh, we can uh, like that could there would be an action of copying that file into a one drop uh, one drive sorry. So let's click on show folders. So this will uh, list your all Dropbox folder. So I've created one uh, folder name Azure demo for this demo purpose. So I will select this demo. Uh, you can use, uh, uh, you can change the content type or you can use, uh, give it yes or no over here. So let's skip it as yes. And uh, you can configure the frequency like uh, into what, uh, how, how frequency, like how three minutes or in four minutes or in one month or two months or weekly or every second you need to check. You can also enter a custom value. So let's uh, select as minute and let's select this interval as one. Like after every minute, it should check whether this Azure demo has a new file and it will sync with uh, our OneDrive. So we have created this. We have configured the values. Now let's go click on new step and add an action. So what this action will be doing is it will create the same file with same content into our OneDrive. So we need to select this OneDrive and it will highlight an action. There is trigger, but this as uh, we have already used Dropbox as a trigger, it will trigger our workflow and the action will be taken from OneDrive. That is, it will again create a file. So now again, you need to uh, log in with your credentials so that your OneDrive uh, logic app can access your OneDrive files. So let's, so as you can see, I've entered my credentials and uh, it will ask again for some permissions for access. Let's click on yes. 
so now it is it got connected so now it will ask for an folder path like wherein uh, where we have to uh, copy the file or where we have to say copy that created file where we have to create the file again the same thing it will show you all the folders no you don't want to have it on root i have created one folder named azure demo again so let's select it uh now the file name so as you can see there is some dynamic content dialog box got open like uh, this all parameters are coming from this connector from our trigger connector at a dropbox we can keep, keep the same file name or we can give some another file name or we can keep the content as a file name anything so let's uh, keep the same file name as of now file content again would be the same file content so now we have uh, configured this our action click on save so now here our workflow is created our logic app flow is created now let's test it so what i have done is uh, there is one uh, sample file with me with the name article of the day asp.net let's copy it it's my one of my article uh, got highlighted into asp.net website as an article of the day so it's it's just a screenshot of that nothing is so i have uh, synced my dropbox and onedrive uh, account or uh, the folders into my desktop so you can see it's a dropbox and azure demo and now we'll copy that file over here just notice the uh, file name that is article of the day hyphen asp.net i will just open it and this is the one okay great so now let's see this should trigger our um, logic app okay so it will be getting triggered after every one minute let's wait for it or we can click here and we can uh, we can uh, ask or we can command it to get it triggered great so as you can see it is fired and it sh it shows success let's click on this it took 1.1 second so the file was created triggered and the created file and uh, our action again uh, got successfully rendered here here it is so let's uh, let's open up the onedrive folder okay so you can see this onedrive folder azure demo and the same file just now it got created let's open up the content is the same with the file name so every second it will uh, check uh, or it will get triggered and you can see the details over here if at all it sometime it got fails for any reason like network failure or some access issue or something it will show you that it got failed with the proper reasons and everything so that you can debug the flow uh, one more thing i would like to show if you go to your logic apps and click on api connections so you can see uh, that we have used dropbox and onedrive as an api so we have authorized this our uh, this dropbox and onedrive connector and hence it's it is a part of this api connection it has got associated with the logic app so hope you have learned something new from this uh, video uh, i will request you to kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video thank you and happy azure coding